Aloha. I'm Glenn Swartout. I'm a healer here at Healing Oasis in Hilo, Hawaii. We work with clients around the world with remote healing and what we call accelerated self-healing. We call it accelerated self-healing because all healing, we believe, is self-healing. The body is designed to heal itself. If you cut yourself, there's no medicine or medical procedure. A Band-Aid doesn't heal it. You know, we can, it can protect, be protective or supportive. Uh, sometimes medicine is actually counterproductive in healing process. So we want to follow the first rule of medicine, first do no harm. We don't want to impair the healing process. We want to be supportive, maybe stimulate pro healing processes. And our goal with accelerated self-healing is to recognize that you're already healing yourself, always, in, in real time. Your body is intelligent. Uh, <clears throat> The, as, as intelligent as the human mind is, it processes less than 1% of the information that the whole body-mind-spirit complex <clears throat> processes every second of the day. Imagine if you had to think consciously to break down food, to digest it, to absorb it, to utilize it in your cells, <clears throat> to detoxify, to breathe, to, to move. There's, there's so many things to, for your heart to beat. So our bodies are taking in information about the environment through our senses, the inner environment through our senses. We, we are aware of that consciously. And there's a massive amount of information that's being taken in about all those things that, we don't, that doesn't rise to the level of consciousness. Uh, so we rely on, on that broader information processing system and means of tapping into that information. So, and that's a bit of a challenge because, uh, you know, what kind of uh, technology can you create that can measure a thought? Well, you know, it's, it's still a challenge even with the sensitivity of, inf of, uh, of technology that we have today. And we do, are beginning to have those kinds of technologies to support the, the native technology of, of life itself and our own consciousness, which is really the ultimate technology, is our own body, mind, spirit. And, and there's the age-old question uh, called the Cartesian divide from Descartes, uh, looking at, you know, there's the material world and the immaterial world of, of consciousness and spirit. And, and we still today have a challenge understanding the relationship between the two. Now, it's pretty obvious to, uh, to me, maybe to you, that there is a relationship, that, there, that the world of consciousness and spirit is real and exists and in fact plays a guiding and leading role in a, the life of a sentient being that you do have choice and free will that you make those choices and those choices have tremendous impact on our path on our health on our life on our quality of life on our interaction with others on our impact on the environment uh, on the environment that impacts us and how we navigate and choose those environments and on the internal environment, what we call the, the terrain or the milieu in which every cell lives. You know, a cell, each cell sits in connective tissue, in extracellular fluid, and that comes from the circulatory system, from the blood supply, and, and it has an outflow into the lymph system, another vascular uh, system, <clears throat> but a system that has open-ended vessels in, the t in many tissues, most tissues, that receive... The, the waste, the, the outflow of, of that, uh, of our cells, metabolism. Uh, and there's also a flow of that extracellular fluid itself. It's been demonstrated, documented with uh, radio opaque dyes, for example, injecting those dyes into the tissue. We don't recommend you do this at home, but it's fascinating research that, that the dyes will travel in the connective tissue in different directions, and it matches exactly the, the flow of the classical Chinese acupuncture meridians. In fact, where the flow reaches what's treated at, with acupuncture as an acupuncture point, it wells up and forms a little circle. So there is uh, modern scientific, Western scientific uh, support and documentation of the acupuncture energy flow system, and it uh, and, and the acupuncture points, and it turns out to be the flow of the connective 
uh, the fluid, the extracellular fluid in the, our connective tissues in the deeper layers of, of the body uh, and connecting into the surface, the skin, at the acupuncture points where there's neurovascular bundles, a bundle of an artery, a vein, and a nerve that penetrate through a layer of connective tissue that's uh, a sheet of fascia of, of, of uh, an insulating layer that, that separates the, the deeper tissues from the surface tissues of the skin. But they are electrically and, uh, and, and by fluid flow connected through these points to the surface. And those points are points of higher conductivity, higher electrical connection between the surface and the deeper layers.